broadly, remittances are uh, one of the largest financial flows going to developing countries, and uh, you know they they account for you know more than 400 billion dollars a year in flows to developing countries. Um, but uh, you know uh, you know they're not nearly as widely studied, and in particular, we aren't thinking as much about economic policies related to remittances as we are about. Uh, foreign aid, for example, which in contrast is much lower in magnitude, you know, typically only about 100, 150 billion dollars a year in, in, uh, uh, in flows are going in the form of foreign aid to developing countries, whereas remittances are, you know, about three times larger. Um, so that's what I was uh, talking about. The main, the main development, though, has been on the remittance front. Uh, remittances uh, have uh, certainly grown in public perceptions. Um, They've grown some in terms of actual dollar figures, but some of the some of the um, some of the perception is coming. The increase in, in perceptions is coming from the fact that remittances are just better recorded by international and national statistical agencies. So now we have a much better sense that remittances are large and important phenomenon. Um, if you look at the time series of remittances, certainly they look like they've grown dramatically over the last 10, 20 years. But some of that growth is just better record keeping rather than actual growth. So I think the, the true growth in remittances is you know, somewhere in between, in, in between what we see in the data and, and, and uh, reality. Well, remittances clearly have a range of positive effects on families that receive them. Um, in some work that I've done in the Philippines, uh, you know, when families get, get uh, more remittances, then they um, uh, they make more investments of various sorts, for example, in their children. Children are more likely to go to school. Families spend more on education, which probably reflects some uh, transition from public to private schooling. Um, uh, children are less likely to be in the labor force as well, so that's sort of the flip side of increased school investment. There's less child labor. Um, and we also see uh, families transitioning towards uh, more small entrepreneurship, um, in particular capital intensive entrepreneurship families. Get, um, become more involved in, for example, providing transportation services, they purchase vehicles to provide transportation services, they're more likely to invest in small business capital, um, and uh, you know, so fundamentally, they, they're, you know, by various measures, they, they appear less likely to be in poverty as well. So remittances clearly have a you know, wide range of positive benefits on households.